when, when you first turned up today, um, Ronan was uh, fuming because he'd seen an EE billboard, right? <laughs> um, and, and throughout uh, this, this interview with you today, you're talking a lot about the competition. So, um, and it's interesting because you, I think you've got quite a bit of gladi gladi what is it? gladiatorial, thank you very much indeed, uh, spirit about you. And just to prove that, um, you, uh, the Independent quoted you earlier saying this, in, uh, earlier this year, saying our business will live and die by our customers, and then later on referring to the competition. We're more than ready to take the fight on in 2012. I'm not just looking forward to it, I'm enjoying it. Right? So, from two questions in this. Number one, how important it is, do you think it is for a CEO or a leader to have that hunger to compete and win. And secondly, asking one of the experts in the industry, what lessons do you have to share for us generally on how to win in the battleground of business? So, look, forgive me, indulge me for a second, but I have the luxury of having the finest brand in the entire cellular industry in the world. So if I can't have the aspiration and ambition to win, then I shouldn't be doing the job. So we have fabulous assets, our people, and our brand are just unparalleled. So in that context, that's what gets me up in the morning. We can make a difference, uh, whether it be in society with our Think Big program or whether it be to, to our customers. So I think for any business, you're really, really clear on what are your key assets, what are the things that you can truly differentiate on. And 90% of businesses, when challenged, will write up lots of things that differ as differentiation, which simply aren't. Yeah. So be crystal clear what it is. And I don't think there's any business in the world that succeeds without loving a fight. <laughs> or person. <laughs>